In this video we are going to overview Parallel Finance, another module, another pilot, emergency shutdown. This overview will be useful for investors or developers who are interested in Rust Substrate development process. Emergency shutdown pilot provides functionality to shut down calls, not in whitelist. Let's dive into. The first section is pilot config. We can specify this associated type runtime event whitelist. This can be used by the runtime to define which calls should be allowed in an emergency shutdown state. The origin which can shut down. This origin are able to call extrinsic inside of this palette and block some execution of palette or call inside of some palette and uh, runtime call. The next session is event and there's two options, toggled palette and toggled call. I would like to include in this section additional information about which palette ID and which palette call was blocked or activated back because there's only boolean value that something happened but for which palette it's happened I don't know there are two storage one storage is for disabling the palette itself there's a storage map that will hold palette ID and the actual value boolean true or false thus some specific palette ID blocked by shutdown origin or not next storage is disabled calls and there are more keys because there's there's a storage double map that will hold first key is the palette ID and the second key is the call call ID inside of some palette and the boolean value does this two key is disabled or active by extrinsic and the next session is the next section is uh, extrinsic both of this extrinsic check that the caller the origin account is someone that are able to execute this extrinsic and because of it we just check that shutdown origin allowed for this account ID and what we're doing next we just uh, read the previous state inside of our storage set up the reverse value and storing the new value for palette ID and emit event that something happened but as I mentioned before I would like to include additional information what exactly palette was disabled or activated back because now it's just one event and the the boolean value the boolean value that something was changed but what exactly pilot was changed we don't know the same for toggle call we have origin someone who are able to call this extrinsic pilot id and call id we read the value from the storage make it opposite and save the new value inside of the storage and that's all there is some implementation of emergency call filter and this filter provide only one function contains that will return true or false depends does this call in activated or not so that does this call active for execution for someone inside of implementation we call using encoded method and uh, retrieve the palette ID and call ID from the call from the call object this error that will be thrown if there's no successful operation in the code input uh, from from the call and at the end we check two places one place is to check whitelist whitelist was specified a little bit above there's something that determinate does the call inside of uh, whitelist so if the call inside list inside whitelist there's no 
way to disable this call. And then if this value will return false, we will go to the next um, validation and we will go to storage to check does this palette ID active or does this um, palette ID and call ID active. And at the end we will return true or false. That's all. Now go to mock rs file. Inside of mock we have runtime that include emergency shutdown functionality. There is configuration for our runtime. We specify that shutdown origin is the root. There is the origin that can be the origin that are able to execute extrinsic inside of this palette is the root the pseudo account and also we specify a white list filter that always return false for any runtime call it means that there is no call inside of white list so we will always go to the storage inside of our palette to figure out does this palette ID active or not? Also, we can check the test folder. There is three tests. First test toggle call works, toggle palette works and call filter works. I would like to see more tests with the um, negative scenarios because um, there is only positive scenarios here. Let's dive into some runtime configuration. Inside of folder right runtime, we can find parallel finance runtime that include emergency shutdown palette. There is configuration for runtime. We specify that shutdown origin is root or more than half general console and white listed filter specify that every any call will return the, the false value so there is nothing to there is nothing inside of um, inside of white list But wait, there's a system timestamp asset, so there's some specific amount of call that inside of whitelist. Yes, exactly. There's no way to disable this palette, this extrinsic. And uh, this whitelist will return true for all of them and will return false for some other extrinsic and palette inside of uh, parallel finance runtime. And yes, we use this filter for palette emergency shutdown. It's a great to have ability to disable some functionality during unexpected uh, behavior or activity, but um, does it centralized or not? Please write uh, in the comment section your opinion about this approach that uh, allow ability to developers to disable any call. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.